Hello, I'm Svetlin Nako from Soft Unique Global, and I'm here for the next episode from my Dev Concept series. In today's episode, I will be talking about embedded systems, the Internet of Things (IoT), and microcontrollers. I will explain the concept of an embedded system which basically consists of a hardware with limited resources, typically a microcontroller, running a software which is used to collect data or control something, for example, measure the temperature or control the heating at home. Internet of Things devices or the IoT devices are special embedded systems which are connected to the internet or to some kind of private cloud which can be controlled remotely. We can control IoT de devices remotely from your uh, web app or from your smartphone or uh, some other way. A good example of an IoT system is the air conditioner remote control app, which allows you to monitor and control your air conditioner from your smartphone or through the web. I'll explain more about microcontrollers and embedded systems, and I will give you a real-world example with Arduino-based embedded system and how we can program it through a C++ code. I'll use the Arduino simulator instead of a physical hardware just to simplify my demo and also to allow you to play with my example even if you uh, don't have a microcontroller with you. So, let's start. Let's dive into the world of embedded systems and microcontrollers and IoT. Have fun! Internet of Things IoT is the concept of fusing connected devices such as microcontrollers and mini computers together with backend infrastructure such as IoT clouds to collect data, control processes, communicate with other devices. Uh, in an attempt to build more smarter and more responsive world and simpli simplify our lives through technologies. Let's look at the basic concepts and principles uh, behind IoT. Embedded systems and Internet of Things IoT are broad branch of software development. But what is embedded system? Embedded systems are hardware plus software dedicated to certain tasks such as controlling the lights or the heating uh, at home. They are called embedded systems because are often embedded in bigger hardware products such as air conditioners, automated heating systems, automatic watering systems and cars. Typically, embedded systems use a hardware with limited resources. Uh, CPU, RAM, battery and others. Most embedded systems run on a microcontroller or mini computer. Embedded systems can be powered by a power adapter or battery. Embedded systems are controlled by software uh, written by developers. Some embedded systems have an operating system uh, with processes and file systems. Such system can run on more powerful har hardware and can do more complex calculations and operations. And others execute your program directly with, without an operating system. Internet connected embedded systems are known as Internet of Things uh, devices or IoT devices. IoT is the concept of internet connected or cloud connected devices which can be controlled remotely. IoT devices collect data from their sensors and other sources and upload this data to an IoT cloud or IoT server. In most IoT systems, the IoT cloud or, or server could send commands to the IoT devices to adjust and control their behavior. Example of IoT system is an air conditioner connected to the IoT cloud, which can be controlled through a smartphone. 
Microcontrollers are tiny self-contained computers hosted on a microchip placed on a board. They enable connectivity and can control anything which could be connected to the internet, such as air conditioning systems, watering systems, heating systems, refrigerators, automated car parking systems, and many others. Microcontrollers uh, consist of microchip holding CPU plus RAM plus GPIO plus USB on a printed circuit port uh, with a power port or battery. Examples of microcontrollers boards are Atmega 328, a low cost single chip microcontroller created by Atmel, Arduino Uno, an open source microcontroller based on the Atmega 328 chip, Microbit open source microcontroller designed by the BBC for use in computer education in the UK. Not MCU, uh, a low cost open source IoT platform based on the ESP8266 microchip with integrated Wi-Fi. And ESP32, a series of low cost, low power system on a chip microcontrollers with integrated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Internet connected microcontrollers are also called IoT microcontrollers or IoT devices. Examples of IoT devices are the ESP32 based microcontroller ports and the Raspberry Pi mini computers. Digital gadgets like Amazon Echo with Alexa, security cameras, smart plugs, smart works, smart baby monitors, and robotic vacuum cleaners are also examples of IoT devices. IoT systems consist of IoT microcontroller uh, or mini computer plus peripherals plus software, plus internet or network connectivity, plus backend system or IoT cloud. IoT hardware devices collect data and send it to the backend system over the network, and the backend system sends commands over the network uh, to the IoT device and can configure and control it. IoT devices, together with the backend system that interacts with them, implement the concept of IoT. Typical peripherals for microcontrollers are LED lights, buttons, uh, sensors, buzzers, relays, displays, and many others. Such peripherals are used to collect data, communicate with the user, and control other devices. The backend is an important component of the IoT systems. The backend could be cloud based, uh, for example, the Blink and Tinger platforms, or local. For example, a network connected home computer. The microcontroller talks with the backend system to send data and accept commands. IoT Cloud platforms support a wide range of services such as data collection. Uh, and processing analytics um, and visualization, device monitoring and device management, alarms and automated events and other functionality. IoT devices are network connected by definition. 
Uh, many connectivity technology, technologies and protocols are available for IoT devices. Wi-Fi used for home devices where Wi-Fi is always available and power consumption is not important. Bluetooth uh, used for low distance connections to other devices. Wara uh, used for low power, wide range, low throughput network connectivity. 4G LTE networks with SIM card provide internet connectivity powered by the mobile operators. Uh, 5G networks with SIM card provide low power internet connectivity delivered by the mobile operators. Most IoT devices and microcontrollers run on limited resources. Uh, slow processor, not much memory, slow network connection, and low capacity battery. This makes C and C++ uh, the preferred languages for programming microcontrollers and IoT devices. C and C++ are, uh, work closely to the hardware and are designed to use less memory and less computational resources. Some IoT devices um, have more hardware resources and this allows to program them in higher level languages such as Python, uh, JavaScript or C Sharp. This is an example of C program for Arduino port. The program increasingly writes a LED white and emits a short peep uh, signal through a buzzer continuously in an infinite loop. The program starts with defining some constants, uh, the pin numbers at the controller where the peripherals are connected. Next, the program configures the pin used to control the LED white. In the main loop, the program continuously changes the brightness of the LED white uh, and emits a sound through the buzzer. This loop is repeated infinitely until the controller is shut down. These examples run on a standard Arduino port uh, with LED white connected to pin 9 from the GPIO of the board behind a resistor with a buzzer connected to pin number two from the GPIO. To run the example, we need an Arduino port connected to the Arduino ID over a USB cable. Uh, alternatively, we can use Arduino simulator such as Tinkercad. Let's run the previous example at the Arduino simulator at Tinkercad. Uh, open the example link. It holds our project, the port with peripherals connected to it. Along with the program source code, we click on Simulate button. Then on Start Simulation in our C and our C program runs. The result is blinking LED. Plus buzzer beep in a loop, we can view the C program code 
driving this example and even bug it. Let's put a breakpoint on the last line of code. The debugger will stop at this time just after the beep signal. We can press the resume execution button. And to continue debugging, you can further play with Tinkercad uh, one if you like it. I hope this demonstration will help you understand the concept of microcontrollers, how to program them and how to connect and use peripherals. Please ignore the technical details and focus on the big picture what a microcontroller is, how IoT systems works, where we can use IoT and how do we program microcontrollers as a concept, ignoring the technical details. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so join now, softuni.org. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Check out my other videos from the Dev Concept series where I explain and demonstrate many concepts and technologies from the software development profession. You may find video lessons about front-end, back-end, object-oriented and functional programming, software engineering, software testing, and many other topics. Type in the comments below what topics you want me to explain in this video series. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay in touch when I publish something new. Goodbye!